to BJ Palmer, the second chiropractor in the world, setting up a patient for a neck adjustment. Using manual force, he aims to correct poor function of the spine, designated by an x-ray taken prior. You can see the force being entered in slow motion. These principles of upper cervical neck correction are still present today. Chiropractic innovator Dr. Roy Sweat, for 20 years adjusted by hand, then he discovered that it could be done effectively and efficiently using a percussive force adjusting instrument. Overlaid with this motion x-ray you can see the force entering into the neck at the flick of a button, the patient raising up. On close-up motion x-ray you can see the stylus applied to the left side of the patient's neck while they lie on their right hand side, the adjustment being applied now. In the early days of chiropractic x-ray was very important in finding where the neck and the head were situated in relationship to each other and if this was a cause of the patient's problem. After the adjustment, the chiropractor can document and sense palpatory changes, improvements in pain thresholds and a general feeling of well-being in the patient. Manual adjusting has existed for over a century and the principles are very, very much similar. However, Atlas Orthogonal Chiropractic aims to correct neck problems using minimal force, maximal accuracy, specificity and ultimately the highest safety measures that one finds in any chiropractic procedure today. Here it is again, the little stylus being applied to the patient's neck, a very rapid vibration, effectively used to create a change in the patient's spine that they don't even feel, barely perceivable, extremely comfortable.